31st March 2014 was my 40th birthday. We've all had life starts at 40. Mine felt like it was ending. <laughs> I woke up that morning, I went to the toilet, and I had a physical reaction to my age. I felt weak, <laughs> vulnerable, like I'm going to get a condition and not recover. <laughs> I asked myself, is this all you would have achieved in 40 years? You should have had more. Your business should have been bigger. Your kids should have been older. You should have had some more money. At least clear your mortgage guy by 40. <laughs> and on and on the questions went. 31st March this year, I finally launched my blog, Lucas Maranga, a man at 40. I needed an outlet before I lose it <laughs> and start picking up jewelers to eat on the streets. <laughs> Thank God the government came to my rescue. <laughs> and they banned Polythin bags. But then again, I could start hugging billboards on the streets <laughs> and crying on them. You see, the thing is, it's been five to six months of this writing, and I've discovered we are so many of us who are confused. <laughs> but we have found a way of dressing up this confusion in corporate power suits and tinted SUVs. And I found this out from Facebook posts, sidebars on the blog and my number, and I realized confusion is a real deal. For me, confusion moved in three years ago, like a rela from shags. <laughs> Initially, I thought they've come for like a day or two, then they go back. <laughs> but three years later, they're still in my house. In fact, now they've moved from the SQ to my master bedroom. We are officially cohabiting. <laughs> I've been in business all my life, as my friend Kevo said, and Agatha added a few things. What did you have to say about Benyawira Pa? Just kill it. Just... <laughs> but anyway, all my life, since primary school, I've known nothing else. No, I've been employed once, I remember, in 97 after campus. I got a job at Barclays Bank. I worked there for a very long time. It was about 71 days. So life in my first half, zero to 40, was autopilot. Life was good. I was living my dream as an entrepreneur, growing my business, and just enjoying my Isha. In fact, about 11 years ago, I even bought an upgrade of the 504, Toyota Hilux pickup. <laughs> you know, brand new from Toyota Kenya, not these ex-Japan cars that guys drive. You know? for my events and tent business. For those of you who don't know, a Toyota Hilux pickup is a symbol of great success to most Kikuyu <laughs> businessmen. <laughs> so there I was, and then 40 shows up, and all familiar ground goes. You meet guys, they tell you, it's okay, guy, don't get depressed. You're doing so well. I'm like, introduce me to that guy you're talking about. Because <laughs> he didn't feel that way. If I'm to draw for you a visual, you know those yellow boxes that Kidero put up at Riverside, Yaya, and some in town? There's a small red sign that says, do not enter. No, do not enter the yellow box until your exit is clear. Now, my story is I'm in the yellow box in the middle of it where the X's meet <laughs> in my small tent. I don't know where the exit is. I don't know if it is clear. I'm just there. And I'm seeing all these folks passing by on all sides. Serious guys moving to places some of them don't even know or like. I'm tempted to join that race. Then somebody tells me, just stay put. So I'm just there. I know I'm probably painting a hopeless picture with these 40 crossroad manenos. But it's increasingly appearing to me that we need to stay confused for some time in the search for our true north. 
And the longer I have been in that space, I'm slowly getting clues. The fog is clearing, pole pole, as to what my next big thing is going to be. One of those clues came a few months ago. I woke up at 2.26 a.m., I still remember. I don't sleep much nowadays. In fact, I'm like a wochi, only that I'm guarding my house from inside. <laughs> my wochi even sleeps more than me. And I'm paying the guy. Anyway, so I woke up. That time, of course, my family is lying prostrate before the Lord in their beds. And I'm staring into the darkness, surrounded by this loud silence. And I hear something tell me, your future is in talking. Your future is in talking. I took that to be the voice of God because of my Christian faith and upbringing. Since that time, I've had a few speaking engagements, of course, in the area of my expertise, which is Biashara, and I loved it. And then a few weeks ago, it was a Sunday afternoon, I still remember, I get a text from Bosire saying, would you want to come and speak at Engage 14? And of course, I smile. By the way, for those of you who don't know, Bosire is Don. <laughs> he just uses that name to gain acceptance in these middle class events. <laughs> But his name is Bosire from Kisi. <laughs> Don't thank you. But still a cool guy. Guys like him and I who went to Lenana are tough brothers. Yeah? Lenana folks in the house here, anyone? Yeah? So, that's what I had. You see, for me at this point in my life, it's like back to the basics. I'm relearning faith and trust not always having to figure it out. It's okay not to know. So it's back to the basics like it was in Sunday school many years ago. In fact, this nowadays when I take my family to church on Sunday, I take my four-year-old boy to Sunday school and then I go to 40s Sunday school. <laughs> you know, it feels like we are the same stage with my boy, searching for the next big thing that will engage us and make us happy. We are exploring only that him at four and me at 40. Oh, no coincidence, by the way, that my favorite local is called Explorer. <laughs> so there I was, and I'm just wondering, so what's the point of all this? I mean, why this cohabiting with this Rela from Shags, wondering what life is all about? You see, I'm learning a few things. Number one is we have to commit. For us 40 folks, this is the future we've been waiting for. It's either opportunity gained or opportunity lost. It's okay to be in that space and not to know and to be okay with it. Sometimes in life, we know what we need to stop doing, but we don't know what we need to start doing, and that's fine. So we have to commit because, again, this is the future we've been waiting for. I know my future... Well, what, what am I saying? I know I don't know my future. <laughs> I'm confused. But I, the longer I stay in this confusion, the more the fog clears. The less I fight this not knowing, the more I get clues. And I remember one of the clues I got, which was actually last week, was I'm going to be part, I want to be part of a big thing, a big thing that impacts many lives positively, that makes this country of ours a better place for us and our children. And this next big thing, of course, has to make me some good money also, because I still have to buy my wife the Porsche Cayenne she's always wanted. <laughs> I wish there's a pickup version, would buy it. <laughs> hmm? You know, a nice one. She wants metallic brown with off-white leather seats. I'm saying this because she says I never listen. <laughs> so she never listen. <laughs> so, You know? I can start with a helix, eh? Yeah. Before I just say my final point, I want to acknowledge, I'm a Miro, salams. I want to acknowledge two individuals in my life who have really supported me in this confusion that I have been in over the last three years. These two individuals, when our eyes meet, they understand me more than I understand myself. One of them 
is my ten is my ten month old baby girl. <laughs> Many times I put her there on the bed. I'd walk up and down the room. Her big brown eyes follow me, and she says, "Then baby talk." <laughs> you know, she feels me. The other individual who feels me completely is Spike, our dog. <laughs> Many times after work, we take walks with him. And I pour out my heart and my turmoil, and he stops, looks at me, nods his head slightly, and does that dog thing, you know. So Agatha, this dog thing is it runs deep. So, folks, 40 has been by far the most confusing stage of my life, but I sense it has the biggest potential and endless possibilities. For many of us, we have to take the scary and very big leap of faith into the life we have always wanted. For some of you, maybe it's time to go back to those childhood dreams and execute. For me, it's handing over my business to someone else who's better than me, and that I'm currently doing. And then I can figure out this talking thing. So maybe at the end of it all, life maybe does begin at 40, but a life of significance, of purpose, a life that. Will lead you to a place that this world will thank you for being here. So finally, this confusion guy is showing signs of packing up and going back to Shags. I'm even willing to give him bus fare <laughs> to go back. Or maybe I'm seeing my own things. Either way, boy, am I glad. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for allowing me to confuse you. <laughs>